All right, Pisces, thank you for giving me the energy to power through your reading today. And also, uh, I'm going to be putting out Gemini, so that will square me up for the weekend. I want to get your all the readings out, uh, hopefully by Monday noon. So if you don't see your sign up tonight, it's coming, and I am, I am putting these out real time. So even though they are for the week ahead, the messages may not necessarily resonate right now um, that if that is the case it's because it's a prediction it's a forecast so pisces welcome to your weekly reading i hope you're doing well i hope everyone is staying safe staying healthy staying sane minding their own business you know all the good stuff um we are using the ae white holographic tarot today it doesn't say holographic on the box but it is a holographic tarot deck uh, the cards are kind of Oh, they got a, a rainbow sheen on them. What can I say? We're also going to be pulling some oracle messages messages for you at the end of the reading from the crystals, the stone deck, and the numinous astro deck to see what planet transits zodiac sign you may be dealing with this week. And Pisces, this is a reading for you, a weekly reading for you, where we are looking at six cards for your week ahead. This reading is for all Pisces, sun signs, moon signs, risings, Pisces on the house cusp, those with their sun in the, let's see, 12th house. And, or Venus and Pisces, you can watch this reading. So let's see, what are the most important messages, Spirit, for Pisces? September 14th through the 20th, 2020. All Pisces, suns, moons, and risings. Pisces on the house cusp. Those with their sun in the 12th house for Venus and Pisces. Show me the six cards for Pisces. Show me how does Pisces see themselves today. What is the theme for them over the next week? What is something Pisces has learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week? A challenge they may be facing, a lesson they are learning now, and a gift they will receive. Let's do two more here. Two more for Pisces, please. up here so that everything is on camera all right very good and let's see at the bottom of the deck we have the moon cancer pisces scorpio energy uh, the moon is the card of intuition it is the card of deep knowing it is also about the subconscious the dreams dream state so you may be having particularly vivid dreams this week. If that is the case, that is your intuition speaking to you. I'm sure you all are very familiar with this, this type of energy. So something here is being revealed to your subconscious. That could be one interpretation. Um, there's something here that you've not been able to move past, a trauma perhaps something psychological in nature that you are being asked to confront this week you will need to dive deep in order to get the answers you are looking for they may come through messages in the spirit realm for example your dreams uh, messages in nature animal totems spirit guides your intuition all pisces whether they are a pisces sun moon or rising or 12th house person have very very psychic receptors you're a very emotional psychic people you're very intuitive people you understand these types of things so just know that that is going to be coming up for you this week more intensely than usual excuse me I just burned my tongue okay just had to get some tea there okay Pisces, how you see yourself today? We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Oops, my little eyeball moved there. Okay, so, yeah. And I hear children outside, so noisy. 
Yeah, five of pentacles in reverse. How do you see yourself today? Getting out of a bad situation. This could be financial poverty, poverty mindset. Um, you may be leaving a colder, a cold environment. This could be a situation where you've felt abandoned or you felt like there was no help available to you. Uh, this, this can also just be, you know, a way of perceiving the world, you know, where it's like, it's like, it's like you and me against the cold, hard world and there's no one there to help. Um, but I'm seeing that you're coming out of this, this feeling of poverty, this feeling of not having enough, of not being enough. Um, it's just a Taurus energy. So you may have Taurus in your chart. Let's see what the theme for you this week is. The Three of Swords in Reverse Libra energy. So the theme for you this week, Pisces, is you may very well be ignoring some pain, some heartbreak here. You may be trying to get over some sort of heartbreak here. This may also be you breaking someone else's heart. Maybe it's you're tired of living in this type of poverty, this type of uh, situation where there's just a feeling of lack, a feeling of abandonment, a feeling of uh, suffering, going, having to go without. You may be choosing to release some pain this week as well. Okay, let's keep going. So far, it looks pretty dreary. Something that Pisces has already learned in their past that will be useful for them to remember this week. We have the Four of Swords in reverse. And I'm hearing something about being laid to rest. But this, this to me is a card of overthinking a situation of a tired mind. This is someone who desperately needs to take a mental break or a vacation. Or if they have been on vacation, they need to come back into the real world and integrate what it is they've learned from their time out. So there's progression as well from the Three of Swords reversed to the Four of Swords reversed. Something is intensifying here with regards to needing to rest the mind, needing to rest the heart. I'm getting fatigued here and or a feeling of being weary, tired of, of the same thoughts, repeti repetitive thoughts, repetitive thinking, a feeling of being drained mentally. I'm getting that you need a break or this environment that you're in has really been difficult. It's been hard on you. I'm also getting this feeling of it's been a very cold, dark place. It's a cold, dark place. I don't know where you are, where you're staying. I want to warm my hands up. Okay, so maybe you're in a cold environment. Maybe it's just it's like uh, snowing or I'm kind of getting the temperatures dropping. Okay, let's see how we can help Pisces. Your challenge this week is the Six of Pentacles. So there's a challenge around power, charity, or loans. Something here is not even or balanced when it comes to a financial situation. Someone may be taking, taking, taking. The other person is giving, giving, giving. You may be in a one-sided relationship. Um, something here is unbalanced. Someone's always begging for something, for breadcrumbs. Oh, this could be someone breadcrumbing you. This is also a transactional energy. It's about giving and receiving. There's a challenge around this this week, this type of transactional energy. Perhaps there's something that you need to purchase or someone has the purse strings here. I'm seeing Libra coming up, Taurus coming up and cancer in your reading right now. The lesson you're learning this week is the, the lovers. Okay, the lesson you're learning this week is the lovers, Gemini. It seems that you need to listen to your heart. You have a very big decision to make this week. This could involve a love, a decision or choice around love or who you love or remember that love is a choice.
This is a very giving energy, but when it's in the challenge position, it seems that someone here is withholding affection, withholding money, withholding charity, doesn't want to give of themselves, or doesn't feel like they have the capability here to do that. That may be because of a financial situation or because someone has not been talking very much, hasn't been giving very much, hasn't been giving of themselves, or doesn't feel like they're in a position where they can give, give to someone. So it seems that you have a lesson this, this week. It could involve a soulmate, a twin flame. Remember, the lover's card, even though it is a soulmate energy, soulmates are our divine teachers. And our divine teachers in the form of soulmates can come in any shape, size, or form. They may be our neighbor. They may be our best friend. They may be our mother, our father, our aunt, an uncle, a child. Someone that we have a soul contract with. I am getting something about a contract as well. This could be someone that you owe money to or that owes money to you. However, I feel like Pisces, this is someone that has consistently neglected you. And this may be someone you're in a relationship with. It could be a Gemini. It seems to be a one-sided relationship based around money. I don't see a lot of love here. Let's see, what is the gift? Nine of Pentacles. Well, Pisces, you're better off on your own. You can definitely do this on your own. If you want to be single, if you want to live the good life, looking good, feeling good, smelling good, you can definitely pull that off this week. I also see here that um, don't be afraid to spend a little money on getting your hair cut, taking care of yourself, keeping your nails trimmed, etc. But I do feel like with the Nine of Pentacles here, you have pretty much you you will have pretty much everything you want and everything you need you will have everything you po could possibly want or need except for maybe love so that brings me back to this card here the lovers which is the lesson you are learning now because the one thing that is missing from your reading and it seems to me that you're ignoring something here that uh, maybe you shouldn't be ignoring that could be a connection to someone a very strong soulmate connection. Not everything here is going to play out in the material realm. Don't forget the spiritual as well. That will that message comes up a lot for me when I get the Five of Pentacles. Usually I get the Five of Pentacles for a person that is um, <clears throat> focused too much on their material security to the detriment of ignoring the spiritual. There is help available. All kinds of help, spiritual, uh, physical, mental, emotional, um, love that you may be ignoring in this situation. But if you want to be happy on your own and you don't care so much about love or emotions, then I'm seeing that you can have that kind of lifestyle. Um, but... Just be careful that you're not ignoring your emotions or what it is that your heart wants. All right, let's see what crystal will be helpful for Pisces. What crystal will help energize Pisces this week? What crystal will help energize Pisces? We have Lapis Lazuli, a very royal stone. If you ever look at any... Um, ancient Egyptian artifacts or even are interested remotely interested in ancient ancient Egypt a lot of lapis lazuli is used it's um, a very royal very royal stone very protective stone there it is okay so lapis lazuli what it is a deep blue stone with deep history see ancient Egypt Tutankhamun's eyeshadow the Old Testament, the High Priest of Israel's vestments, and the Dutch Golden Age, Vermeer's palette. Who needs it? Cat people, Leos, anyone who uses the phrase, in a past life, I'm totally convinced I was a dot dot dot. Where to put it? As a spiritual armor that lets the world know, when I walk into a room, it's customary for y'all to bend the knee. 
so when to use it. When your thoughts are not your friends, call on lapis lazuli to help get you out of whatever your mind has gotten you into. Exactly. And ascend, they want you to ascend to your rightful throne. Pisces, ascend to your rightful throne. You may be a, uh, I'm getting a Leo Sun Pisces Moon or a Pisces uh, in the fifth house with a Leo Moon or a Leo Rising. Possibly definitely a Leo Rising, although I'm not getting any Leo in this reading. And I didn't really get much Leo in Leo's reading, so... Just giving you a little heads up there in case you are watching Leo's reading. Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of getting you need to take your power back here. And also your, your thoughts are not helping at this time. You need to do a cleanse, especially when it comes to your, I'm getting your third eye and your crown chakra. Your, your crown chakra definitely needs a clearing. So if you can go do some chakra healing, a chakra clearing, that would be really helpful for you, especially going into this week. Get that all cleared out. Get that gunk out of there. Say so what planet transit or zodiac sign will be helpful for Pisces. That came out very quickly. We have Aries, the radical. Okay, Aries, the radical. So Aries is the first house. Aries is a fire sign. Uh, it is cardinal fire. So it is a very um, ambitious um, active, self-starting sign, very daring, fierce, and assertive, fiery, exhilarating, innocent, on a mission, bossy, driving, sparky, courageous, selfish, macho, impulsive, argumentative, competitive. So I'm kind of getting here. We need to get out of the head and into the heart here a little bit. Um, we need to put the little fire under your butt just like we did with Virgo. Get some, inject some fire back into your life. And um, we want you to reclaim your throne, Pisces. Reclaim your throne. Rec reclaim your power. I'm also getting a Pisces here that has a lot of Aries. So I'm thinking, think of the Empress, the Emperor. That probably comes up a lot for you. And I'm just seeing here that, Pisces, we just need to reset your energy a little bit this week. Make sure that you don't get caught up in that mind space too much. Guys, this is your weekly reading. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you would like. And if you'd like to book a personal private tarot reading with me, my information is below in the description. Have a great week.